So, I have the OnePlus 6T in-house. Earlier than expected, and I wanted to definitely thank my man Jay, Jeremy, for letting me get hands-on with this product. And I'm gonna have it for a little while, so I wanted to actually give you my raw 24 hours, or actually just a few hours impressions of what I'm thinking of the OnePlus 6T. I think OnePlus have really knocked it out of the park, in my opinion. Let me explain. Now, quick overview of what I initially think of the OnePlus 6T while I have it right now. It's already on box, it's been set up. I've got it in the nylon case right now, which really feels nice, but let's go naked with the phone. And I know you definitely hear this a lot. Initial impressions of when you hold this phone is it feels nice in the hand. And yes, you've heard that it feels nice in the hand so many times, but honestly, genuinely, it does feel nice in the hand. I would say just holding onto the glass, the glass itself feels very smooth, but kind of has a grip texture to it. So this is the black color and that's the best way I can describe it. And just looking all around onto the phone, it's clean at the back. There's no fingerprint scan at the back. You've got the dual cameras at the back as well. You've got the flash. You've got the volume rocker on the left, which is a rocker, not an individual switch button, which I'm kind of okay with. You've got the dual SIM card slot, which is something that you've come to know from OnePlus. You've got the power button and you've got that alert slider. I definitely like the alert slider. But two things you're going to definitely notice that is very immediately polarizing. The notch or the lack thereof of a notch, this teardrop display, which I'm not a fan of the notch, but it's so hard to actually admit this part. This is my favorite implementation of the notch. Now, bearing in mind, obviously, there isn't any advanced facial recognition system in here. There isn't any 3D depth sensors. There isn't any dot matrix projectors that are coming onto your face to give you absolutely secure, you know, facial recognition and facial unlock. But there is still some form of convenience facial unlock on here for biometric, which is cool. So I can appreciate the fact that because of this, they can actually minimize it and give you this teardrop display, which I can rock with it because it's an AMOLED display. It's a quad high definition plus AMOLED display. It's a 19.5 by nine aspect ratio. So yeah, this is what OnePlus are doing. And I think so far, just based on impressions, this display is looking good. It's looking good. Yes, would I wish for high refresh rate? You've heard me make noise about high refresh rate. I still want it on an OLED or an AMOLED panel. Give it to me, someone. Make it happen. I know ASUS, you've done this with the ROG phone, but apart from that, for a 1080p panel, this is looking and feeling great. The bezels are really uniform all around, and it's something that I'm really digging. And the lack of the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. <sighs> I'm not angry. I'm not angry. Let me know. Let me just be honest. I'm not angry. I'm kind of just going off the record and just basically talking to you guys and just letting you guys realize that I'm not angry, but I'm disappointed because it seems like they've settled or have they? Because based on OnePlus's initial feedback about what the 6T is standing for, right? There is a bigger battery that's in here and also a clutch feature, the in-display fingerprint scanner. Boom. So, I think that's impressive. At the price that this starts at in the UK, six gigabytes of RAM, Snapdragon 845, minimum base storage of 128 gigabytes, and it's a dual SIM card slot phone. Think about that in retrospect at 499 UK pounds. All the way up to the top skew, which this one is, this is the eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage for 580 pounds. I'm just basing on my first impressions. Yes, there are compromises. The lack of a proper ingress protection IP68 or IP67 rating, the lack of a headphone jack, the lack of wireless charging, especially when you are using glasses and material. This is something that really gets to me as well. The lack of expandable memory, which is something that I still wish OnePlus would do for me. I love expandable storage. And also the lack of a true quad high definition display. Yes, this is the highest resolution 1080p panel that they put in any of their smartphones at 6.4 inches. But even with what are known as these compromises, right? You can forgive this phone. You can definitely forgive this phone because immediately, again, 
no phone that you have feels bad in the hand, right? But this still does feel good in the hand for you to actually mention that as a warrant. So that's something I just wanted to give, right? Based on impressions, the camera module is the same. You've got the night scope that they've talked about. You've still got 4K 60 frames a second. You've still got the awesome electronic image stabilization that they have in their video. You've got portrait mode, but obviously not with a depth sensor, but it's something that was there from before. So everything you pretty much know about the OnePlus 6, pretty much expect the same when it comes to the camera performance, but hopefully with refinements that are gonna make it much more of a refined experience, polished enough where people can overlook maybe some of the punch that you might expect it to have against some of the other big flagship phones. But in saying that, if you guys have ever tuned into any of my Ultima camera comparisons, I'm definitely going to put this up again. So let me know what you guys want me to do. What phone do you want me to see this so-called flagship killer go against when it comes to the Ultima camera comparison? Is it going to be the iPhone XS Max, the Note 9, possibly even the Huawei Mate 20 Pro, which is another beast in its all itself. So I don't know, I, I'm just intrigued that in this market climate, where phones are constant above 800, above 900, above a thousand in some cases, in some cases even starting, right? How were OnePlus able to bring such a phone, even with all its compromises, all its drawbacks, at this price with arguably some very innovative features in there. Still with the fast charging for OnePlus, which is one of the fastest on the market. How were they able to do this? And even on top of that, how were they able to do this and maintain an increase in availability? Because in the UK, minus one main carrier out of the four, or one main network out of the four, you can get this OnePlus on a carrier all around. That is a big deal. And I'm just thinking that the recommendation for this product has definitely gone higher now. So I kind of just wanted to share my thoughts on what I thought of the OnePlus 6T while I have it in hand right now. I wanted to kind of share my thoughts on what's really just initially impressed me when it comes to things like the speed, the fluidity, all the things you expect from the breath and the air that comes with Oxygen OS, right? As well as my concerns of the OnePlus 6T. But nonetheless, I'm gonna definitely put this phone through its paces, the usual, right? And I'm gonna give you my full review, my thoughts and my experience of the OnePlus 6T while I have it. So stay tuned, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Make sure also when you do hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell so you do not miss any of the new content that is posted on this channel, the Lover of Tech channel. And when you do that, you will actually be part of Team TLS, the Tech Lover Squad, right? So if you guys are part of that team, give me a message, let me know. What are your thoughts on the OnePlus 6T? What does it represent for this literally saturated market of smartphones that have actually just been coming out, spilling over into Tech November that I want to call it now. Not just Techtober, but yeah, this is exciting. This is exciting. OnePlus have definitely caught my attention. So I kind of wanted to get my first initial impressions of what I think while I've had it for no more than a few hours, less than 24 hours after you guys watching this video to think that such a phone exists on the market, I'm very happy. Not perfect, not perfect, but I'm very happy that this is here. So that's it. My name is Ben.